months now. Yes. We're bridging, we're engineer. Nobody don't know where I'm there. So we I say, we have to stop that something there. Because when you tread, when you tread all over the world, bridging and sistering, I know so it's the man. Oh. And when you go to South Africa again, you see that look of something there. We can't make people say we're back with black you. We're back with you. We're coming to your life. We're not a curse, man. A beer blessing for all of us. But we have to make the change. We have to make it. We have to do it now. We can't do it now. We have to 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 do Today, yeah. even those who didn't know before about Coral Garden, that today many people who are have pa who are passing and who have stopped to, to ask what is this about. I'm glad they stopped. And I want to say, Andrea, that the Reparation Commission is here, the National Commission on Reparation. We are here. And Dr. Knife, Donna McFarlane from Liberty Hall, the legacy of Marcus Garvey is here. So we are here. Uh, representing because this is a cause that we also embrace and uh, I want to say that even though we are happy that so many people have turned out and that so many people are listening on radio I am troubled by the fact that school children have just passed us they are going about their business they have no curiosity about what is happening and that is because we have lost our sense of history. We have lost our connection with the past. Caribbean history, world history, African history. These are not compulsory subjects in our schools. Until we correct that, we'll continue to suffer from the ignorance about the past. So this is a Sankofa moment. And I really, really, I am really impressed. And I just hope your philosophy of a kind of joined up media will carry the story across the length and breadth of Jamaica. And as I mentioned, the school children, a very good point you made, but we've also noticed that there are indeed a lot of school children. They were in the, in the march from Ward Theatre to, to Heroes Park. A lot of high school students, not in the uniforms, but recognizing them as students. So for those who are here, we're happy that they are here. For the others who are passing, do get them to stop by. Right. Um, they, what I noticed those was that students who joined us, have a consciousness because of who their parents are and so it's not as and these are rastafari children and many of them they have the consciousness they were they are wearing the colors but i think we have lost most of them and i'm just hoping that we can recapture those we have lost uh, those who don't have the consciousness and the knowledge and i think that a lot of the adults also don't know um, somebody called me to ask me what happened in 1963. Why are we talking about 1963? And I'm, I, I'm just happy that uh, we are today uh, educating the people about what, what, what happened. And also talking to the Rasta brethren, many of them who were persecuted in 63, here with us. And I just say, we cannot continue to live in an unjust society. Peter Tosh has put it well. We can't have peace if we don't have justice. We would like to have peace. That is the ideal. But we must ball out for justice. Thank you very much, Professor Very Shepard, as we come to you live. Uh, Mucha, your other co-host is actually on the scene, you know, Brother Miguel Lohan is over on this side. I don't know, Lali Bella is with you there. So as I go over to Miguel, how you doing, sir? Great, great day. Lovely. And we really give thanks that not only the people have come out, but the hope of the back of the black struggle, the Pan African struggle. So we really give thanks that so many people overstand the issue. And this will now be for us to continue until. until uh, Miguel will soon be taking the microphone. Right, uh, uh, Muta, I know you're with the better your other co-host. Yes, Amber yes. is in the in the audience yes. and will be roving yeah, with the I'm microphone here, as better she can Andrew. to talk to persons on the ground. But uh, it's over yeah. to you, Muta. Yeah, it's actually Ron Mushet here with you now, Andrea, inside the place. And uh, is it Sister P? Yes, sir. Officially. Yes. Nice to meet you, Sister P. <laughs> and give thanks to all the job people yes. turn out today now, because, you know what I mean, it's very nice that... Ron, where yeah, are you? That Rasta people can be here, isn't it? 
So we have to send a message out, especially to the government, and you don't know, to the police. Can police know themselves, no? And Paul Bogle, as Moot always tell you, Paul Bogle, why police business start, especially in it. And if Paul Bogle ever see we just get coward, make all police a kill all 70 a week in a three months. Paul Bogle, I said, then, at that me dead for? A joke thing, so. Know yourself. Love yourself. You know what I mean? I remember say how we employ government, you know. Babylon, how we pay them, you know. Everything with them eat and drink and every suit what they have on right now. And me and your blood, sweat and tears that. Babylon have nothing. So know yourself and let's live in love. You see me? And police for know so them are we too. But the only difference is that we not going to make Babylon trick we. So them not to make Babylon trick them. And if you get a job to serve and protect and reassure, I that you have to do. Because trust me, Ja I going to beat you wicked. I see if Yo, you know what Ja beat you? And you see a picnic, picnic, picnic. Enough people in Jamaica are suffering now and I don't know why they are suffering. They think a hard time. A wickedness, man. A generation destruction. You see me? Know yourself, Rasta. Sister P, come in and say something, darling. Nice to see you. Yeah, but you just said something about serve and protect. But it was not to serve and protect we, you know. It was to serve and protect. No, no, police never convinced that people need to understand. Right. Tell them, Sister P. Yes. You are it was a serve and protect the plantation owner them. And the mentality still yes. don't change. So we keep thinking that them serving and protecting we, but it's not. It's serving and protecting them are we against them. So Rasta have to go teach them, you know. Rasta have to go teach the wider population. Can't be a Rasta have got so teach them for me, Sister P. Well Rasta is the only way, you know, because Rasta is peace and love. It's wild them wild we make we have to behave some different kind of way, you know. But Rasta is peace and love. And and unity and, and, and those things, but it's because Babylon just whine whine we up all the while. But we just lose the cool and have to carry on some kind of way to make them know so well. Oh, we will mash you down. So Babylon system must fall, and we ask the brother and sister them. They, well, it is falling. Yes, so we just want brother and sister them to fall in line, whether you are soldier, whether you are police or doctor. Because Babylon is not just one set of people, you know. Babylon coming all farm. Remember me tell you, trust me. Babylon all in a lot though. You hear me I say? So when we say Babylon, we just mean a group of people when they know themselves. So we don't like them to come in line and farm and come on your side. You understand? Know Rastafari. Yes, Ran Mushet. You know? Ah, uh, you say, back to Sister Pia a while ago, and all the people don't know, say, of course, was started to suppress the people's revolutionary spirit after Paul Bogle and Moran B. I almost know that the constitution of Jamaica was written in the interest of the majority of Jamaican people. It was written as Sister P. say to protect the plantation owner. That is why one third of the Jamaican population is seen as squatters. We're calling upon the Jamaican government to recognize the voice of the people and if this year today is not part voice i don't know what else is if this gathering today if the government and the opposition don't recognize this gathering as part of the voice of the people it no says blind and see them cast and nasty them nasty you understand we need some justice there will be no peace Emperor Haile Selassie say, and Peter Tash put it into music. He said, There is no peace until there is equal rights and justice. And the law in Jamaica is not for justice, the law is to keep the people them intact, that the system can work them and manage them as them so please. What we want, you know, is not law. We want justice. Because even the law in Jamaica don't provide justice for the people. Because what the judge do is work off a facts presented to him. And facts is not truth. Facts is evidence given at a moment. And facts can change. We need to understand what the difference between what the law say and what justice is.
And it look like who have the most money will get you too. Most of the time. So it's like justice is for sale. But see the lawyer, yeah, can I help you? See the lawyer that? now, Miguel. <laughs> yes. But, yes, Miguel. Muta, Muta don't tell you. Oh. And this week, Muta? Yes. This week, yeah. You know, rebel. Oh, oh, a judge, a judge, I didn't mind to give a man five years. Yes. Uh, eh? 18 years. Yeah. And Muta come get character witness. And the judge look on the man and say, Oh, you bring the big man come. And it transformed from 18 years to a fine of $60,000. Well, Muta. <laughs> a big thing's that Muta. <laughs> well, you know, say. The judge attacked me up in the court. I don't know this man. But I know say when him go home, him could all look at him and say, what the hell happened in there? <laughs> Cause we have a way for work things. And things work we. And it come like it work on him. And he don't even know. You understand? So that so all my lady was sitting right in front of him and stay upon him so. So I don't know if him feels uh, she had goes with me or something. <laughs> It's a fan, man. The judge listen to cutting edge. Uh, yeah, I tell you. So that from the youth feel good. The gun court, do you know? He was, gun court. Court. Gun he, was, court. he was facing 18 years. That has done. So we give thanks to that still. But, yeah, man, but generally what you have said with regard to the laws, because the majority of the laws in Jamaica were handed down from England. And most of those laws were laws deliberately set up to maintain colonialism imperialism and suppression so all right like you said the judge followed the law so consequently we have to work on that situation so in fact when buster Mante ordered okay we need to massacre, go to a break buster was in fact following the law because he felt that with his authority he could have ordered the police and soldiers to shoot down innocent set of people Bruce Golden come and do the same thing in the Tivoli massacre. So this today is a statement to say that won't happen in Jamaica again. Right. All right, does, Buta and we're Miguel, going we're going to go to a quick commercial break. Yeah, we are talking still, man. The yeah. people but, but, but Miguel, yes. if we have the same law, yes. the same constitution, then most likely it can happen again. So we have got to change the constitution Absolutely. and change the law then. Absolutely. That, so therefore, this cannot be a one-day wonder. It must be a continuous situation where we continue to read and assess the situation and ensure that these things do not happen. Not just with Rastafari, because like you have been saying, Muta, over 70 youths have been killed in three months. In three months. The largest police so in anywhere in the it world. Would, it would make people, general people, feel uncomfortable, yes. you know, in traveling through Jamaica and dealing with the police and the state. Because when the state itself is committing such atrocious crime, that's really bad. You know? So it is them levels there. Okay, we're going to a break, them say. But meanwhile, I'm going to take a break. We're not have a break, you know. Actually, Mota. I'm going to talk to the people, them. Mota, we, we're going to continue. Continue? Yes, okay. you can see All me right, over here. Continue. I want to say hello to everybody. Yeah. I had to come out and support this. Today, big up all the Irish family listeners. This is wonderful. Yes, I am by me, same one. <laughs> this is happening in halfway <laughs> tree right now, Mandela Park. Today. And we give thanks to the gathering. We give thanks to everybody who come out. And Muta, you know, when I was walking from downtown coming up here, I see some people in them vehicle. You know, I skin up them face and go on like it's just Rasta business. But we have to understand that this is Jamaica's business, people. Right? Youths dying every day. Babies, baby mothers, elders. And these things cannot continue, so we have to take a stance. And the government needs to recognize that we, the people, are the ones who put them in. And people are full-time going to realize that if you don't vote, them can't go in. We need to get serious around here. The killing needs to stop. We need to unite and live as one. All these things that happened 50 years ago happening worse now. So if people want to sit down and feel like a Rasta thing, boy, we are really still ignorant. Trust me. If thanks, yes. brother Miguel, Not Jamaica, sure. Jamaica, the country where Rastafari established from, is the yeah. only country where you can't go in a bank and see people with locks, you know. And if you send your youth to school with them locks, it's like you have to, you know that, come here, your youth yes. used to go yes. to some school, and you know we have to go in and the talk to these we have people. To go see, we say Jamaica have to come, come out of that, you can't force the youth them to take 
vaccination because yes. we know where some of them things are for. Yes. And you can make 